Listio back at it again, this time with a new version of Recall Box, and this is a good video, and I say that because this build of Recall Box works with the Raspberry Pi B+. Yes, I have lots of Recall Box videos on this channel, and people are like, wait a second, the Raspberry Pi B+, which is pretty much the standard Raspberry Pi 3 at this point, it's been out for a while, they're like, you mean this image won't work? And I'm like, yeah. Sorry, dude. You gotta, you gotta get um, retro pie. But uh, here we go. We have one of the first 128 gigabyte images for the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus, running the newest version of Recall Box. Um, there, there are some caveats here, but I have to say I do think this is worth checking out. It's totally loaded. Ton of PlayStation games. Ton of Dreamcast games. Um, I was just reading some comments about the last time I reviewed one of his images and people were like, man, do you overclock your Pi? How come this is so smooth? Um, no, this is stock Raspberry Pi 3B+, no overclock, and as you see, it's running really good. Um, I've mentioned this in my previous builds, in previous videos, that I'm a fan of Recall Box and you're about to see why. Um, if you want, you know, no uh, bezels, you just want a ton of games, then look no further. Um, there, like I said, there's a couple caveats. I'll get into those, but for the most part, really, really nice uh, build here. So let's get into it. Now that we're into it, as you see, a nice uh, plethora of uh, boot screens. I just showed you one, but there's actually a bunch of different boot screens when you boot up the system. Um, it does have Cody if you hit start on your controller there. You can see I've already been on this image now for over 30 minutes, and um, I didn't. I never even knew they had a little clock up there. That could be depressing, right? If you if it goes up to like 100, you're like, what am I doing with my life? I'll show you how to set up your controls on this because it will start up in Portuguese. That's one of the caveats. It's all going to be in Portuguese. It does have custom music on it. I've turned mine off and sound settings here. Uh, I turned that off, but you can go to front end music, turn it on there. Um, oh, speaking of which, I don't want this to blow out your ears. Change your controller settings here. You can also change the UI settings. I'm on the wheel right now, but you can go over to theme. And uh, as you see here, I can do a wheel, a vertical wheel, horizontal wheel, uh, up and down, a diagonal. So any kind of look you want with these systems on this main page, you could do. But you can overclock really easily as well. Uh, as you see, I'm on none, but I can go up to fast, bigger speeds there very easily, click of a button. So image size 119 gigs, which is 127 billion, 865 million, 455 thousand bytes. And uh, I'm going to show you some gameplay. I can tell you it's buttery smooth. Um, a couple other things I want to get off my chest early that I looked into was I read all the comments from the previous videos I've made of his builds. And these were the complaints. One was no video snaps. They are like, that's a deal breaker for me. Well, I'm I hate to break it for you. I still don't think there's video snaps on here. Yep. Which leaves more room for games. So I think that's a preference thing, not a deal breaker to me in my opinion. Uh, two, when you come to Scum VM and Cave Story, these games are going to be in Portuguese. This is says BR. I think that means Brazil. Not sure. Um, but that is going to be in Portuguese. Um, most of the other ROMs I've played are all in English, so you shouldn't have to worry about that. Okay, so that was kind of a deal breaker for a lot of people, especially the Scum VM. You would just need to replace those ROMs with the English ROMs. Uh, but for the most part, all these other games work. The other thing was Nintendo was broken on the last um, edition there. But as you see, he's got almost every game possible. Hack games. Uh, here you go. You actually have the Portuguese games here. And uh, when you go to arcade set, almost 2,000 arcade games. And again, he has them. Um, in folders here by the you know the publisher and then you can also then just do alphabetical order here and because there's 2,000 of them I recommend going by letter and you know I go to J and here are all the games with the J so really quick my first initial impressions are o OMG 
there are a ton of systems on here. Neo Geo CD. Um, there's CD-based games like PSP. Look at these. These PSP games are not small. The Dreamcast collection is not small. The, the PlayStation collection is not small either. Um, so big games on here. Big, big games. Nintendo 64 are not small. You got 255 games there. And you have hack games as well on the N64. So as you can see, if you want a big dynamite image, you know, with one of these, you know, has every game images, this is, and then it has recall box, which a lot of people have been ignoring recall box. We've been seeing a lot of RetroPie images. And so this is a really solid uh, choice if you don't mind recall box. And again, I kind of like recall box in the simplicity of it. Um, so that's just my personal opinion. So it does come with Doom full installs of Doom, Neo Geo, you've got 226, you even have a couple hacked Neo Geo games, you know, you don't see that on every one, that's cool to see, a lot of Street Fighters, Neo Geo CD, uh, you have Capcom, MAME games, we, I showed you that, I can't go through the whole collection, there's 2,000, but uh, there's a ton of MAME games, um, oh, somebody commented on the last one. They said all the um, Capcom games or some other one of the publishers weren't working. I tested it. They are working now. So rest assured. There, Super Nintendo, I played a few games. Worked good. 1,300 games because you got Super Famicom, you got Hack Games, and you got some Brazil uh, titles as well. Satellaview, 63. Uh, Turbo, you've got 14. NES, 2,400. OMG. I'm sure a lot of those are hacks. <laughs> Um, you know, if like I said, there's a big collections. Uh, family computer disk system 237, N64, 255, Game Boy 491, Game Boy Advance 1070, Game Boy Color 457, uh, Master System 486. Again, you have Mark III here, Tech Toy in here as well. Mega Drive 1394. You got Japanese Mega Drive in there, Brazil games and hacks. You know, so whew, he's got you covered. Genesis 32X 37, uh, CD 36, SG 1068, Game Gear 263, Dreamcast. It's 25 games, and they a lot of them run really well. I was very pleasantly surprised. Game and Watch 53, Intellivision 163, Amiga CD 10, Amstrad CPC 330, uh, 60 I think was it 330 or 360? Yeah, 2600 648. 5,273, 7,864, Atari Link, 76, Cave Story, one game, Lutro, nine games. Play some Snake later. Uh, Coley, Co, 163, MSX, 685, Neo Geo, Pocket 9, Pocket Color, 82, Odyssey, 2, 116, Vetrix, 109, Virtual Boy, 26, Wonder Swan, 112, Wonder Swan, Color, 91, PlayStation 114 games. If you're wondering what's on there, a lot of people want to know what's on the PlayStation front. Got Diablo, Final Fantasy, Grand Theft Auto 2, Marvel vs. Capcom, Marvel Comic Trilogy 4, some good games, Spider Man, Tekken 1 through 3, Tony Hawks, Vigilante, Xeno Gears, PSP. These aren't PSP minis, these are PSP games. And uh, they all run really good, in my opinion. Um, the resolution is not super high on them. Oh, there's your PSP minis. 321 Super Crash. Thanks, Broski, for including that. Uh, Jetpack Joyride. Some good little games there. So it does have PSP minis as well. PC Engine 290, PC Engine CD ROM, 22 Super Graphics, 5. Scum VM, remember these are going to be, he says BR. So that's cool that he identified them. I don't think it was like this in the previous version. So that's cool. And then we're back to Neo Geo.
There you go. I haven't counted the games. I know there's tens of thousands of games on this system. You know, 30 plus systems. It's ridiculous. Um, so final thoughts. I'm a fan. Galisteo's previous images have made my top five recall box images. And a lot of people said I was crazy for doing that, especially with some of the Portuguese things in here. But as you see, it's really easy to make a couple adjustments that you could just do by hitting start, you know, uh, do the change the language really easy in system settings. You can change the language here really easily. Um, and then, you know, everything. And then that was pretty much it. But then you have the... Um, the Scum VM games and a uh, cave story that you might have to reinstall or delete. And then some people might say, well, the, all those extra Brazilian games, I don't want them. You know, they're bloating it up. But really, most of those games are small ROMs. You're talking NES, Genesis, things like that, which don't take up a ton of space. So even if you were to delete all that, you're only going to save, you know, less than a gigabyte. Um, so furthermore, I love the old ones and this new one having all the fixes from the old one and now being a Raspberry Pi 3B plus and I know I keep saying that and it's because I'm really um, excited that it's finally for the B plus because the Raspberry Pi 3B performs so well um, with recall box so you know I'm, I'm seeing a really really good performance here uh, I might try overclocking this next because um, it's it's running like butter um, you know, a little bit of lag in Dreamcast, which is to be expected. Um, but other than that, it's, it's you know, I the comment I was reading earlier was, hey, Drew, are you, are you sure you're not running this on a PC and fooling us that it's not actually a Pi? I mean, that's like the biggest compliment, right? If someone actually thinks you're on a PC doing um, doing the, the review. Um, I was wondering how I could prove that. How can I prove I'm on a Pi? I mean, it says I'm, I'm what I'm playing here. Show frame rate. I can show my frame rate. That might uh, tell you that I'm on a computer. There you go. Or I'm on a. I'm not on a computer. I'm on uh, a Raspberry Pi 3 B plus. And you saw that my overclock settings were standard there. So with all that said, that's what I think. Let me know what you all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll catch you on the next one.